the medicine so sometimes i just stay until i get better but it made me reflect on how far i've come because i used to be that person who will go to work even when they are sick that's how committed i was but that was coming from a place of trauma you know childhood trauma i remember growing up there was a time where i did not go to school when i was supposed to so i was banking then my mom discovered and she beat me guys like she beat me after she beat me i went to school the following day so i was going to go with a letter that saying that i was sick hence i was not coming to school so my mom told my other aunt that she must tell the teacher that i must not lie i was not sick i was just banking so my teacher beat me too my teacher actually had a shambok we called it beat that's why i never dated any beat because the shampoo, <laughs> I'm kidding. Mara, she beat me too. So because of all that punishment that I received from that day onwards, even if I was sick, I will go to school. Even if I was not feeling well, like I will go to school dizzy and shaking, then they will have to turn me back and say, go home. I think that was the trauma. And I grew, I grew up with it as an adult. I will go to work even when I was not feeling well. And I was very proud of myself that I am not that sick person. And can I just confess that I used to judge other people. You know those people who, who seem like they are always sick. Like those people who nurse themselves when they are sick. Because now I was not used to nursing myself. So I will judge, I will judge them like, ah, no, it's just period pains. Or it's just the stomach ache. You can be okay. Like it's just a headache. You know, get over it. Please don't come for me. I have repented. I'm no longer that person. Now I understand that our pain tolerance is not the same and it's okay. And this was going to be a disadvantage for my kids because when they were sick, I didn't take it too serious. I think it has its benefit because I don't overreact. I don't panic. When they are sick, I'm not that mom who's going to think, yo, my kids are dying and what, what. Even when they are sick, I'm still able to function and understand that, okay, what's happening and ask relevant questions, which is necessary sometimes because if I'm panicking and they are sick and everyone is panicking, sometimes it becomes a mess. But my point is that because I had to unlearn and I had to heal, I am now at a better space where if I am not feeling well, I'm able to say, okay, today I can come to work because I'm not feeling well. But I feel a bit guilty when I'm doing it. I'm still recovering. I don't know why. Because the reality is that should today, God forbid, God forbid I die, my workplace is going to replace me immediately. My colleagues and my friends and my family, they are the people, the people who, who really value me and know me. Those are the people who are going to feel like, yo. Oh, we wish she was here. So if you are you are like me, where when you are sick, you push yourself, you force yourself, please, you are not helping anyone. Please take care of yourself. We need you. We need you. Please take care of yourself. Take that break. 
take a day go to the doctor one thing i i don't like going to the doctor but this year i'm very intentional if i'm not i see that this is something that needs a doctor i actually go to the doctor now which is such progress for me like please lynn chapelle mazo this is progress okay so before i go on and on let me i need to bath then i need to eat i didn't eat and also um i've asked auntie bongi to do my makeup because i get girl doesn't know how to do it i look i need to look presentable see you yeah i'll take you along with me to the podcast i don't know if i'll be able to record while inside but i'll take you you will see when i'm coming inside and everything else thank you so much oh before i finish i want to show you something now i get i like things so I decided that I need a place where I can record. So I wanted to change the wall to white. Aesthetics, you guys. Aesthetics. So I thought it's a simple thing that we are just going to change the wall and that's it. But a shame. It's a big thing. But I think it gave Utatetlamini an opportunity to change other things. I'm actually happy about that thing because we had a stand there that almost fell and because it almost fell the other part has been there so finally it's out which i'm happy about so it's a big project all for youtube not really for youtube only but all the other contents because i want to do my fashion content and i need the space and that is my TV room. It's not the family's one. So I've got a right to change it. That is me convincing myself. Okay, I will see you in a bit. Early. I'm at the venue. I am very early. Like an, is it an hour or two hours? Okay, eleven or an hour early. I did not. I don't know what I was looking for. But anyway, it's fine. It's fine. Rather early than late. Yo, gehema mo yako di sababu. This is the place. But um, I forgot the tripod in the car so i could not record when i was inside but it went well it was very interesting i love the conversation uh, i will let you know once it's out so that you can see and yeah and listen i'm going to quickly go to the shops before i go home and the bongi did the things as usual lampon Mwana Minki. That's my mom, my late mom's name. Every time things like this happen, I actually miss her. I wish she was here to see all the things that I'm doing, the woman that I am now. King come out, get go food lovers. Mara, they will think that I'm being, I'm being what what. The food lovers is so nice. You go fancy places. <laughs>
Malay with Asa. Mugel, after all, she's like, Mani, oh, we are asking, how was it? No, oh, it was fine, it was good. I want the uniform because everyone was wearing their pink things. And Yana, she was wearing her tights and t shirt. But there was another child, so it wasn't that bad. So, Kinao, after complaining about how exhausted I am with being a soccer mom, now I'm deciding that I want to be a ballet, a ballet mom. Then, on top of that, how Ndate coming is like, how many times do they go? I say once. He's like, no, why should it not be two times? I'm like, no, no. No. Asa, do you want to speak? What do you want to do? Wash your hands. Oh, and I wanted to say that to If you are working with kids, ne, like under 10 years old, like you deserve a raise, you deserve bonus, an extra bonus. It's not easy. Like, uh, I'm giving you props. You deserve props. Um. I'm trying to make something for, for myself. I saw it from one of the mandis online. So I didn't get everything that's part of the recipe, but it's okay. I'm going to wing it. It's fine. It will come across. It's fine. I can be joining. Malahane Tava, Malahaj. We eat. As long as we are eating, it's fine. I don't know, maybe I'll do another vlog on yeah, on the weekend or tomorrow as I'm busy with the kids. Yeah. See you on the other side. <laughs>